Silent Hill 2 Remake is one of the most anticipated games of the year, and with only 10 days until early access and 12 days until worldwide release, the hype is bigger than ever. In this quick video, I will share some new photos from the 2024 Tokyo Game Show that have been surfacing on Twitter, some new awesome looking PSX Extreme cover art, a new historical society website that recently opened to the public, as well as new confirmed number of achievements and when you can expect to start playing. If you like this type of content, consider supporting the channel by liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell button if you want to see more. With that being said, let's begin. The Tokyo Game Show, one of the world's largest gaming exhibitions, will take place from September 26th through the 29th. There are exciting new titles being showcased here along with the Silent Hill 2 remake. Enthusiasts in attendance have posted photos showing us exciting things. A person by the name of Usagi Tanaka posted these four photos. In this photo, we see someone dressed as a bubblehead nurse. Check out this video with them in action passing out brochures. Here, we see a sign highlighting a brochure of Silent Hill with a reveal of the remake's maps and locations. In this photo, we see exclusive new art of Pyramid Head, as well as what looks to be a steel book exclusive box art cover of the remake, logo t-shirts, and other little neat things. And finally, we see the great knife Pyramid Head is holding in the photo. Usagi posted two more photos of the Silent Hill 2 exhibition booth, where we can see fans and spectators line up to check out footage of the game. In a post recently made by Matt Leonard, he says, took a look at new Silent Hill 2 unique covers made by our team. Angela is my favorite. In the first photo, we get a front facing shot of the newly designed Bubblehead Nurse. Next, we get get a look at the infamous nine squares. Additionally, we see the classic James Sunderland mirror scene. And finally, we get to see Angela in this incredibly unique art cover, reminiscent of the original game's box art. I love that we get to see James in the reflection of Angela's knife. In other exciting news, Silent Hill official posted a link yesterday that takes people to a simulated website for the historical society. For those new to the franchise, this is a big location in Silent Hill 2. If you navigate to it, you will see a homepage with news of latest notices and announcements. For the sake of this video, we will touch only on a couple of things. If you navigate to the collected data tab on the right corner of the page, there are three pictures of the remake's map. Here, we can see all the old and new buildings that will be inside the remake. The map confirms that Pete's Bolorama will be making its reappearance to the remake. This means we can look forward to that famous line that became one of the biggest memes in gaming history. This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? Another change that we can see here is that Bloober Team has moved Heaven Knight's Bar and added other locations like Lakeside Diner. Late last year, people took to Reddit discussing the likely number of achievements fans could expect to see in this remake. Fans were guessing that there would be only 12 achievements. I can assure you that there will be much more. 31 more to be exact. Yes, you heard it. That means we will be seeing 43 total achievements. Lost in Silent Hill and Will Horror Game Central confirmed this recently on Twitter, referring to what they discovered on Steam. I'm not sure sure how this translates to the PlayStation 5 trophies, but expect there to be similar amounts to Steam's achievements. To sum it all up, the Silent Hill 2 remake is looking like it is going to be an absolute must play for horror fans. With its updated gameplay mechanics, improved graphics, and new features, as well as all the promotional hype it's receiving, this remake is shaping up to be a real masterpiece. And with a release date set for October 8th, we do not have to wait much longer. For those who pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition can start playing 48 hours early on October 6th. Reload will begin on October 4th for everyone. Here are the times and dates according to what time zones you are in so you know when you can expect to start playing. And what do you all think about the Silent Hill 2 remake? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest gaming news and updates, be sure to check out my other video here discussing all the latest news and updates found through discussions and posts on Twitter by fans. With that being said, thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.